Listen, if you're not willing to sit in front of your people, not only just the chapter leaders or anywhere, and have people and stand in that fire of criticism or whatever the case may be, if you're not willing to do that, to take questions, take criticisms, if you're not willing to do that, you're not fit to lead. And my thing is, how long are we as a group going to support people who are not fit to lead? And they ain't leading. And when things, and most of the time, when you talk about leadership, you're really just holding whatever failure or criticism comes your way. You're rarely holding any kind of success. When stuff goes wrong, you're just the person everybody looks at. But that's necessary. Because claiming leadership of a once leaderless movement. Read that last line one more time for me. And read it real loud for the people in the back. She appears to be taking leadership of a leaderless movement. You know why? Do you know why she's doing that? Do you know why she's taking leadership of a leaderless movement? That's basically an admission of the other stuff that didn't work. Hey, what's going on, fam? So another video. So first of all, um, as I said, I, you know, wanted to not make any more videos, but every time I see something about the implosion of ADUNTS, it just reminds me of another point that I was trying to make in another way that I was proven right in my discussions about ADUNTS and specifically their suicide down ballot strategy. And it's just, I'm sorry, fam, it's just real hard to not make these videos. So I really do want to get these points out there. And also, I'm going to expound a little bit more on why I feel the need to make these videos a little bit later in the video. But anyway, let's go ahead and cut straight to what you guys saw um, at the beginning of the video. You saw two clips of Yvette Carnell, the A-Dunce founder. One was a clip of her talking about how if leaders are not willing to take questions and criticisms, they're not fit to lead. And then the other clip was of her talking about how when people try to seize leadership of a once leaderless movement, that's an admission that everything else they've done hasn't worked up to that point. Now, fam, I want to say this about these clips that I got, first of all. So I, as I've said, and this is this was the truth, I do not watch a dunce videos anymore. Uh, I just can't tolerate it. It's just they're just too boring, too off code. Um, and too suicidally stupid for me to even take what their words into my spirit or into my subconscious, even if I know I'm consciously rejecting their advice. I don't even want to take that toxic, bad advice in my soul. It, it is a waste of my time and a waste of my life on top of that. Anyway, so no, I do not listen to a dunce. I promise you guys, I have not listened to them for months and months and months. It's been over six months since I've watched an a dunce video, at least if not longer than than you know, over six months, if not a year or something, but it's definitely been at least six months, if not longer than that. Um, so how did I get these clips? How did I know about these clips? So uh, it's kind of tied to what inspired me to make this video. Um, once I got inspired to make this video, part of what I, some of the things uh, that had inspired me to make this video was these clips that I saw, because as I told you guys, even though I don't really have an account on Twitter, I still do browse it. Um, and see what's going on and see what my people are saying and what they're talking about and just what's going on, you know, so I can uh, keep abreast of the world because, you know, relying on mainstream media is sometimes or is not sometimes almost always never the never a good thing. Um, so especially when we're talking about black issues and foundational black American issues and uh, the system of white supremacy, you know, mainstream sources are. Uh, very, very poor sources to get keep abreast of what's going on in the world. Uh, sometimes, you know, not all the time. But anyway, I digress. Um, so, you know, I'm looking at what's going on and and with the suicide down ballot implosion, and I see these clips, and these clips are being posted by again former A Dunce members who are now falling out with A Dunce. So I don't have to go and watch their videos and pull these clips like I posted in that um, that other video where I posted the you, the link to the YouTube video where Yvette was admitting that she had started the beat started the beef she started like with FBA and other people for attention and money. 
I just put the link to his video in the description box. I didn't have to put his clip in my video. I don't have to go out and do the work of watching the whole video and then isolating the clip that I want to isolate, you know, and, and doing all that stuff. I don't have to do the work anymore because Adunce has made so many enemies that I can just find the clips from other people and download it from them or post their, the link to their video. I don't even have to do the work myself. But the reason why he posted this is to expose the double talk and the hypocrisy that's coming out of the ADOS movement and how they are, Yvette was basically calling out her current self in the past because at that time when she made that video, you know, she did not realize that these kind of videos would be able to be used against her because she would become the very type of leader that she was criticizing. The type of leader who wouldn't take advice and wouldn't take criticism, just like she wouldn't take advice and wouldn't take criticism when people like myself and others were questioning the suicide down ballot strategy. What I was doing when the whole FBA ADOS split first happened, I was trying my best not to take sides. So I would not attack um, Yvette o directly over attacking Tariq or I would try to leave that out of the conversation because I knew if I brought up Tariq, they would think I'm a fanboy or a troll and try to block me. Right. So I would bring up the substantive issue that I had with ADOS and that was suicide down ballot. And I would still get blocked and told I'm too stupid to understand and I'm not understanding on purpose and blah, blah, blah. But now a lot of those same people who would tell me that I was too stupid to understand the suicide down ballot strategy and that I didn't want to understand it on purpose are now this and then blocked me because that's the other thing. ADOS, especially when they were having the, the split with FBA, were the most block happy unable to defend themselves group of negroes i have ever seen on twitter in my life now yes there's some individual negroes who are also black happy but as far as a group of black people who have a common identifier ados and they all have it in their twitter profile when the fba split first happened i had never seen such an insecure unable to defend your stance block happy group of negroes until then and it was reflected by their leadership because they would circulate ados block alerts and block lists and all of this stuff right encouraging the hive mind encouraging the circle jerk echo echo chamber that they've now built building the seeds or planting the seeds for the circle jerk echo chamber that a dunce is now that it now is and so now a lot more people in the a dunce movement want to realize that these people cannot take criticism and they're using the clips like the clip that a vet um has of talking about how leaders can't take criticism and if they can't take criticism they're not fit to lead they're using that against her the people who are now enemies but were her friend during the suicide down ballot strategy. A lot of those people. And I'm not saying that the particular people. Who, uh, I'm not saying any particular person. But um, a lot of the people. Who are now. Ex and I'm not saying the particular person. Who I got this clip from. Is one of the people. Um, who was specifically defending suicide down ballot. But I know he was still in a dunce. During the time that they were promoting it. And I know a lot of other people who were specifically defending the suicide down ballot strategy. Now, a lot of those same people are doing things like posting the clip that I have in my video of showing how a vet can't take criticism. But again, fam, some of us realized that a year ago, over a year ago. And then the other clip was about a vet talking about how, to, how she's taking control of or how leaders take control of a once leaderless movement, and how that shows that they're admitting what they had been doing up until that point is, was failing. And that's basically what Yvette has become. She started out promoting ADOS as a once leaderless movement, and now she's trying to declare herself the leader. And in her own words, she's admitting that everything she had been doing up to this point, like suicide down ballot,
had not been working up to this point. And the people who are pulling these clips are pulling these clips to try to make the point that event had once claimed that the movement was leaderless and now she's trying to be the leader of the movement. But here's my problem, fam. She has started, her and Tone has started that where the leaders talk as soon as they split with FBA. But you guys didn't jump ship then. Why? This is why I talked about having personality preferences. Because everybody who went with a dunce, yes, as I've said before, yes, some of the people who went with FBA went for personality reasons. But everyone who went with a dunce went for personality reasons. everyone and it's shown in the wash now because the same things that y'all are attacking her for now and pointing out in a vet we were pointing out a year ago so why didn't you jump ship then when you saw these signs then now you want to recognize that a vet was trying to claim leader leadership of a leaderless movement but when she was jumping out the window over republicans and people's response was, how are you going to tell a lineage how they can vote? Well, it's not it's a lineage, but it's a lineage and a movement. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not what we said at first. We said it was strictly a lineage. Now it's a political movement anchored in a lineage. See how she was slowly moving the goalpost? And fam, that ties me directly into the screen cap that I'm using for this video. So somebody named Detroit Red 16 is... Is saying that's what get that's what gets me all the double talk bait and switch. Now, fam, double talk. Who else has been using that word in reference to the A Dunce movement? Myself. As a matter of fact, I had to go into uh, triple talk and quadruple talk. I had to show how they were not only just doing double talk but triple talk. And then this brother Marlon Watson who for some reason stuck with them during the whole suicide down ballot um, initiative. Now he's realizing the same thing. Now, by the way, I checked the likes on this tweet. Brother Marlon uh, Dorit E. Grocery, he liked this tweet that about them having double talk. But let's see his response in the screen cap. And he says, it's crazy. They don't want it to be used as a lineage anymore. If they don't want it to be used as a lineage lineage anymore, just say we are changing position it is no longer a lineage it's an organization only i'm sure people will respect that but to act as if this has always been the case is dishonest and absurd and he's agreeing with the brother detroit red who was saying that they are doing double talking bait and switch fam that's what i talked about with the whole suicide down ballot strategy you mean oh you mean double talk like Oh, we're not supporting the Democrats, but then we have Tone coming out of his mouth saying Democrat down ballot means consistently vote Democrat unless you research the candidate and found that you don't like that specific candidate. Then don't vote for that one candidate. But if you didn't research any candidates, consistently vote Democratic. That's what Tone said. You mean that type of double talk? You mean a double talk where you're claiming it's not about Democrats? But then you won't take the word Democrat out of the suicide down ballot strategy. You mean that type of double talk? You mean the type of double talk where you said it's all about a black agenda. But then all of a sudden you start telling us how it's important to vote for uh, tax initiatives that have nothing to do with a black agenda. Ballot initiatives that have nothing to do with a black agenda. You mean the type of double talk where you cry about the Democrats symbolism when they did that kneeling and they were in Kente Claus after the George Floyd incident. But then you turn around and say vote suicide Democrat down ballot. You mean those kind of double talk, Brother Marlin? You mean that kind of double and triple talk? You mean that kind of talk where you're claiming, oh, we have to show them that we're not supporting Republicans. But at the same time, you're claiming that you don't support Democrats. You mean to tell me the type of double talk where you claim to be oh so worried about what people think about you? That's why you had to start beefs with people because you didn't want anyone thinking that you're a Republican. Yet at the same time, people are still calling you a Republican and Harvard is still putting out articles saying you're a right wing organization.
You mean to tell me that type of double talk where you claim to be so worried about people thinking what, what they think of you, yet you won't change your name from a dunce, even though people say that that's divisive. So you're not worried about what people think when it comes to your name. But you are worried about what people think when it comes to selective fake outrage about supporting Trump. You mean all that double talk that was clearly evident. And then I'm going to post links, fam. In several of my videos, my, my suicide down ballot videos, I talked about the double talk. But I'm going to post two videos in particular where I talked about the double talk. A video where it's titled uh, something along the lines of a rant discussing suicide down ballot convos on Twitter. Where I exposed the double and triple talk and contradictory statements coming out of the movement then. But this was for, and, and fam, this is the people, if you go back and watch that video, a lot of those people that I was featuring that are, were arguing with me are now going against a dunce for double talking. Yet they were coming to my channel and my Twitter page repeating the double talk at the time. Now they have a problem with double talk. So um, just to continue, fam, like I said, and then he's like, but I'm sure people will respect that. And he says, if you want to say um, you don't want it to be lose as lineage anymore, just say we're changing positions. That's what I was saying, fam, during the suicide down ballot con conversation. I was like, hey, all I want from them is to either admit that they misspoke or admit that they've changed their political strategy and that they no longer believe what they used to believe. But they wouldn't do either. And they just kept pretending that this is what they had been promoting all along, that they had been promoting voting for non-black agenda items all along. You mean that type of stuff? You mean the other things that when we pointed out how, hey, these people are talking about making this an organization and... It's not just a lineage anymore. You mean them pretending like they never said that even then during the FBA beef? You mean you mean that type of um, uh, double talk? And, and like I said, just to read his, his um, statement one more time again. But to act as if this has always been the case is dishonest and absurd. But fam, they have been slowly moving the goalpost away from a just being a lineage ever since they jumped out the window on Tariq. And again, the reason why I keep bringing up Tariq is not because I'm trying to make everybody be a fan of Tariq. Or I'm just trying to be this big defender of Tariq. But because everything that they used to attack Tariq and all the traits that they showed during their attack of Tariq are now being shown against their own people. They started moving the goalpost away from being a lineage immediately after they started attacking Tariq. But a lot of you didn't jump ship then. That's when they started saying, oh, it's not just a lineage, it's a lineage in a movement. You see, the, the goalpost slowly started getting moved because it started out as just strictly, strictly a lineage with no leaders. Now it's a lineage and a movement. Then it's an organization and also a lineage. Now it's just an organization that's quote unquote anchored in lineage. But you can call the lineage anything, but you can only call it ADOS if you're in the ADOS organization. But remember, when they started, you weren't allowed to use any term. That's why we had to use ADOS specifically to identify our specific lineage. And we shouldn't have a whole bunch of other terms. That's what they were saying at first. So this goalpost moving and gaslighting and pretending like you didn't say things that you said has been going on for over a year, fam. That's why I'm making this video and that's why I got inspired to make this video because every time I when I see stuff like this, this is just like feels like my final vindication. Now that I hear a dunce members using the word double talk, the word I use to describe a dunce for months. Go watch any of my suicide down ballot videos, but specifically the two that I'm going to put in the link of the description box of this video. Then the other one, if I didn't mention the other um, 
video besides the rat discussing suicide down by the convos or is the other videos called exposing the flaws of the politically suicidal Democrat down ballot or suicide down ballot strategy. And you will hear me, fam, if you don't remember, you will hear me talking about double talk and triple talk and quadruple talk. The same things that this brother Marlon Watson, either current or former leader of ADOS Chicago, and this brother Detroit Red who's saying, and I don't know any I don't know anything about the brother Detroit Red, but he's some Twitter profile who's saying that's what's getting me. That's what gets me all the double talk, bait and switch. And fam, again, like I said, you mean the double talk of saying you're about a black agenda, but then sitting up here and telling people how they got to vote for ballot initiatives? You mean the double talk of saying Democrat down ballot means consistently vote Democrat, but then at the, on the other side of your mouth claiming that you don't support Democrats? You mean the double talk of giving black people every excuse to vote for Joe Biden while telling them not to vote for Joe Biden? You mean that kind of double talk that I spent a year complaining about, fam? I'm just saying. So anyway, and fam, let me explain to y'all, because I know some of y'all may wonder, why have I invested so much energy in this suicide organization? You know why, fam? And I kind of touched on this in other videos. We had a great thing going. ADOS and FBA, we had a great on code movement going that what really had a chance of doing damage to white supremacy and really had a chance to impact the election. And even though I talked about some of the Negroes that were attracted to ADOS, because I will admit, fam, from the beginning, I could tell certain Negroes had zero political background in understanding white supremacy and that they had, were just event and tone fans. But at that time, I said to myself, well, hey, if being in a Van and Tone stand is what's getting you to be on code with this movement, I'll take it. Because it's so hard to get black people to be on code about anything. So if you're a fan, fanboyism or fangirlism of a Van and Tone, even though I could tell, tell or see, see it in certain people from the beginning, that they were just a, a, a Democrat coon nerd who was a fan of a Van and Tone, and that's what got them to start being awoke about reparations, at least just a little bit. But they had no real understanding of the system of white supremacy and the real reasons why you need reparations. But again, like I said, at that time, it, I didn't care. It didn't matter because at least you're on the same page. Even if the reasons why you're on the same page with me are flawed, at least you're on the same page. But even with those awkward non-understanding of white supremacy Negroes that I peeped early on, I will say also that there are, are a lot of solid people who aren't necessarily awkward, insecure geek nerds, but that for whatever reason um, chose the A-Dunce movement for reasons I can't understand. But hey, there are some solid people. This brother that I'm using the screen cap of, Marlon Watson, he appears to be a solid brother, especially now that he's splitting from A-Dunce. He appears to be a solid brother. But he, I also know for a fact that he was running around with A-Dunks while they were showing the very signs that he complained, that he's complaining about now. And he's only complaining about them because they've been turned in on him. Because if he truly had a problem with this kind of behavior in general, it wouldn't matter who they were directing it at. For example, if you don't agree with pedophilia, it shouldn't matter... That the pedophile, <coughs> my apologies for the call. It shouldn't matter that the pedophile is molesting the child of someone you don't like. You still shouldn't condone pedophilia. It's the same thing, and my bad fam, if you hear some background noise, my dog is in there in the background. It's the same thing with um, these so called problems with double talking and pretending that you said things that you never said or pretending that you didn't say things that you said or having a problem with the fact that she's now deviating from it just being a lineage when she had been doing that but all of a sudden you just now have a problem with it you just you you remember her claiming not to be a leader however you had no problem with her claiming leadership 
for over a year. When a lot of us, a lot of other of us walked away from her because she started claiming lineage over a year ago. She started claiming leadership over a lineage over a year ago. And, and, but now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden you, you remembered that she claimed that it was a leadership, leaderless movement, even though she's been claiming to be a leader for over a year. Now all of a sudden you remember how she started. Now all of a sudden, y'all have a problem with double talk because it's being directed at you. And fam, that's why I've made I've spent so much time making videos about the suicide down ballot strategy is because I did not want our people to spend over a year wasting our energy and our time towards a strategy that was actually going to do damage to us. And fam, it's proven in the wash. Fam, we, I've talked about this and Neely Fuller talks about this. One of the goals of white supremacy is just to waste black people's time and make them expend energies on fruitless efforts. And that's also why I talked about how some people, black people become, even if it's not intentional, they become unintentional agents of white supremacy by wasting other black people's time. You're doing the bidding of white supremacy by wasting other black people's time. And this is why I kept sounding the alarm on the suicide down ballot strategy. This is why I kept sounding the alarm on that, fam. Because the event and tone were doing the bidding of white supremacy by wasting black people's time and political energy for over a year over a double talking suicide down ballot strategy. This very same double talk characteristics that they shown that they had shown in promoting the suicide down ballot strategy, they are now showing in the implosion of a dunce because that's a part of their character is being double talking hypocrites. And again, fam, I want to reemphasize that example. You don't get to pretend to dislike a, a, a thief but then watch that thief rob all six of your neighbors and do nothing about it and actually continue to be friends with that thief while talking out the other side of your mouth and claiming you don't like thieves. And then when that thief finally robs you, now all of a sudden you got a problem with thieves. No, fam. What do you expect the neighbors like me, the FBA neighbors of, of the A-Dunce Negroes who are now beefing and imploding with F with ADOS. How do you expect us to react? No, we're not going to have mercy for you now that the thief that we've been telling you was a thief for over a year has now stolen from you. We told you that. I told you that she was a double talker and a triple talker. Now y'all want to agree that she's a double talker and a triple talker. And fam, that's, this is really what the whole video was about. It's not to really rub it in their face, even though, yes, I kind of am. Like I said, I do believe a lot of these brothers and sisters are solid. And the real reason why I made all my other suicide down ballot videos and the reason why I'm making this one is because I did not want black people to end up doing the bidding of white supremacy. And now that these people can no longer even get along with the very people who told them to do the suicide down ballot bidding of white supremacy, time wasting, energy wasting, double talking project. Now these people are completely split from Yvette Antone. So as I said, the suicide down ballot strategy was a complete waste of time. And we missed a crucial opportunity to impact a national election because we were splintered and half of us were following suicide down ballot. Fam, I just want to wrap up this video by saying... Everybody who does work doesn't need to be doing work because a lot of the A-Dunce Negroes try to feel better about themselves and diminish and demean FBAs and other people who disagree with the suicide down ballot strategy. As we don't do the work, we're lazy, we just sit at home. And I already talked about in other videos how there's different ways to do work. Yes, doing boots on the ground work is work. Yes, doing YouTube or other kinds of education is work. If you do both, it's work. But everyone who wants to have boots on the ground don't really need to be boots on the ground, fam. For example, 
um, that chick who was twerking in front of the MLK statue, she was boots on the ground. She was out there in, in, in the streets. DeRay McKesson was boots on the ground. We've seen lots of frauds be, quote unquote, boots on the ground. We got a lot of Negroes, not just the one who was twerking in front of the MLK statue, but we got all these Negroes who are protesting in front of cops, armed riot cops. We've seen picture, picture after picture and video after video of that. They boots on the ground. They doing the work, but they're not really doing the work. You see, fam, so the the point that I'm trying to make is that if you don't understand white supremacy, you don't really need to be out there doing the work, fam. I'm sorry. You don't. Outside of maybe handing uh, outside something maybe very generic, like handing out meals to the homeless. That's really if you don't understand white supremacy, that's really all you need to be doing. Is handing out food and food and clothing to the homeless. You don't need to be doing no political work. You don't need to be doing no activism, no protesting, because you don't know what the hell you protest and active and being an activist for. A lot of black people who are even in the ADOS movement will agree that there are black black people who are av, who are activists for LGBT over ADOS lineage issues are misguided. And fam, unfortunately, it applies to a lot of you ADUS Negroes because you don't have the grounding and, and the founding and understanding white supremacy. And that's how you ended up following a suicide down ballot strategy. And all you could do is talk out the other side of your mouth. We doing the work. We doing the work. No, you're not. Because if you're doing the work without knowing what what uh, what the hell you're doing, you're out there doing damage. Like the suicide down ballot Negroes did damage. And again, this is not about intent. This is about results. That's why I said you can be an unintentional agent of white supremacy. And I tie that in to say this, fam. Going forward, um, the ADUNS movement has splintered from ADUNS HQ. And then there's like a other group of Negroes called the Assembly of a- ADOS or ADUNS or whatever. And a lot of the people in the Assembly... Are people who are agreeing with the suicide down ballot strategy and agree they agree with that double talk. But now they have a problem with a vet being a double talker. They had no problem with a vet claiming a leadership over the movement for over a year. But now all of a sudden that they've splintered with um, a vet and she won't allow them or is trying to not allow them to be able to use the, the title of their own lineage. Now they have a problem with her trying to be the leader of a movement even though she's been basically claiming to be a leader for over a year and a quote-unquote founder. And that's why they were G-checking people over their political preferences and telling them that they can't, telling a lineage that they can't support a Republican if they wanted to. So that that's the assembly Negroes. The Negroes who had no problem with double talk until now. The Negroes who had no problem with people pretending that they didn't say things that they said until now. The problem, the the same Negroes who forgot that a vet said that this was leaderless and it was not an organization. Who had no problem with it being a organization and having a leader for over a year up until now. But I will say this, they they are still smarter than the Negroes who still somehow, even after all of this, are still rocking with Yvette and Tony. And the reason why is because they're groupie fangirls and uh, fangirls and fanboys. So that's the reason why, even after all of this, they're still rocking with Yvette and Tony. So at least they're smart enough to not still be a part of A Dunce HQ. So I'll give them credit for that. And a lot of these brothers. And sisters are out here uh, claiming that they're going to be doing reparations work. And that's a good thing as long as you have learned your lesson. But I don't really know if a lot of you have learned your lesson because the reasons why you learned your lesson are not the reasons why you should have learned your lesson. And again, fam, I've talked about this just to wrap up the video. Motives a lot of times are as important as what you're doing. For example, I brought up the Harvard 
uh, article attacking ADOS. So let me say this, fam. I don't like ADOS, and clearly the people at Harvard don't like ADOS. But we don't like ADOS for completely opposite reasons. They don't like ADOS because they're claiming that basically the ADOS is somehow em- empowering black people and encouraging them not to not vote for the Democrats. And they don't like that because Harvard and the people who wrote that article for for Harvard are promoters of white supremacy. And I don't care that there are some black people who contributed to the article. They're promoters of white supremacy. So that's why they're mad that ADOS is somewhat encouraging some black people to not be 1,000% committed to the Democrats. I'm critiquing them for the exact opposite reason. I'm critiquing them for a lot, for promoting too many people to be close to continue to vote for the Democrats or to just straight up continue to vote for the Democrats. That's what I had a problem with. So if Harvard ever did a a critique on me, they would critique me for the same things, if not worse, than what they critiqued A-Dunce for. So am I going to take Harvard's side just because they don't like A-Dunce and I don't like A-Dunce? No. Harvard is a white supremacy organization, or that, or at least those teachers are, but most likely the entire school is, or, or, or whoever, those professors, I said teachers, professors or researchers, whatever they are. So, fam, these the motivations of what or the motivations behind what you do a lot of times are just as important or if not more important than what you're actually doing. And I will say this, the Harvard white supremacy does this all the time, fam. So for example, white supremacy uh, put out articles saying how the FBA and the CIA were infiltrating Black Lives Matter. That was a complete lie. Or they'll put out They'll put they'll basically put out things making you think um, or, for example, Republicans used to attack Barack Obama as being like this big time black panther, black radical, black liberationist, black racist, quote unquote, against white people, which is com- which is com- couldn't be further from the truth. But what white people do is that in order to not have to acknowledge the real activists and grassroots workers, the real people who are promoting no black agenda no vote they will attack the controlled opposition version of that person in order to a not have to acknowledge the real grassroots activists and and pretend and to also you know help prevent bringing further attention to the real grassroots activists but also as a way to make you think that the non-grassroots activists are grassroots activists because of who they're being attacked by. Like I said, the Republicans used to call Barack Obama a, a secret Black Panther, Black extremist, Malcolm X, which is was further, which couldn't be further from the truth. But again, a they do that so that they don't have to acknowledge the real Malcolm X's and Black extremists that are out there today. Or and they're not. I don't call them extremists, but that's how they would char- characterize them. But they're not extremists to me. So they'll call Barack Obama an extremist in order to not acknowledge and, and potentially bring um, attention to the real quote unquote extremists as they categorize them. Or like I said, the FBI and CIA allowing articles to be put out claiming that they had operations against Black Lives Matter when they didn't. They are they're operating Black Lives Matter. What are you talking about? They have an operation against Black Lives Matter. So it's the same thing with Harvard attacking A-Dunce. It doesn't prove that A-Dunce is a solid, non-double-talking organization. As a matter of fact, it just further proves that they're using A-Dunce to not have to talk about the real grassroots black activists that they don't want to bring attention to. And also to make you think that non-grassroots Democrat shill operatives are actually grassroots and actually aren't democratic shield operatives by writing attack articles but i digress fam um i'm saying all that to say 
the motivations matter just as much as what the action. And so even though a lot of these brothers and sisters are continuing with their reparation work and on the surface, I support it because I we need as many people as possible doing the work. And we all have different gifts and we all have different ways to contribute to the mission and different facets of the work that we can contribute to. However, a lot of these people have shown that they do not understand white supremacy, fam. And it's shown by the fact that they're just now seeing the double talk and the hypocrisy because a vet is directing it at them. But somebody like myself was screaming into the wind for over a year trying to tell you that this is double talk and they're wasting your energy. And therefore, they are doing and they are having you do the bidding of white supremacy. And me as someone who's dedicated myself to toppling white supremacy and someone who had tried to join this movement at the beginning when it was a beautiful thing, it was my duty to point out the double talk in the suicide down ballot strategy and the bidding of white supremacy being done in the suicide down ballot strategy. But anyway, fam, um, another long video. Just wanted to get some of these final thoughts off my chest. Um, again, fam, the double talk, the double talk of things like consistently vote Democrat unless you research that candidate and not do not consistently vote Democrat unless you research each and every single Democrat and you found that they have a black agenda. No, consistently vote Democrat un and unless you research that candidate. So if you did not research that candidate, do not vote Democrat. If you did not research that candidate, vote Democrat. And then he gave an example of only one Democrat that he didn't vote for, meaning that he probably voted for every other Democrat. Not black agenda down ballot. No, Democrat down ballot. And that means consistently vote Democrat. Anyway, fam, that's another video. Like, share, subscribe, and peace. Going over to Bloomberg. Bloomberg gonna run all these ads. They gonna push this, try to push this DN, this democratic uh, like field more into the center because the white ghost of voters that that haven't consistently voted for them need them to be in the center. Well, they got a problem because they gonna leave the black voters from voting at all. As I've said, my position is the same as uh, breaking Browns is the same as we said at the conference. Down ballot democratic. Understand when I say down ballot democratic, that doesn't mean that you have to vote Democrat on every single item down ballot. Let me be clear. When I vote, I've done it in 08 and in 12 and in 16. I didn't like the, the, the ticket at the top. But down ballot, you consistently vote Democratic unless you got a candidate that you fully research and you don't like their policies. I did that with Jackie Lacey here in uh, Los Angeles. She was a D Democratic district attorney. I didn't vote for her. I just abstained from that, too. What I'm saying to you today is that the Republicans don't have a lot for us. What I'm saying to you today is for our vote, you're going to have to have a lot for us. I want to have this discussion today. Please go to ToneTalks.org, subscribe and donate, share this video. Let's get it. going over to Bloomberg. Bloomberg going to run all these ads. They going to push this try to push this DN, this democratic uh, like field more into the center because the white ghost of voters that that haven't consistently voted for them need them to be in the center. Well, they got a problem cuz they going to leave the black voters from voting at all. As I've said, my position is the same as uh, breaking Browns is the same as we said at the conference. Down ballot Democratic. Understand when I say down ballot Democratic, that doesn't mean that you have to vote Democrat on every single item down ballot. Let me be clear. When I vote, I've done it in 08 and in 12 and in 16. I didn't like the, the, the ticket at the top. But down ballot, you consistently vote Democratic unless you got a candidate that you fully research and you don't like their policies. I did that with Jackie Lacey here in uh, Los Angeles. She was a D Democratic district attorney. I didn't vote for her. I just abstained from that, too. What I'm saying to you today is that the Republicans don't have a lot for us. What I'm saying to you today is for our vote, you're going to have to have a lot for us. I want to have this discussion today. Please go to ToneTalks.org, subscribe and donate, share this video. Let's get it.